Welcome to RulerRevolution.com. My name is Patty Nethery and I'm the owner and the inventor of Ruler Revolution. In front of me today, I would like to introduce you to the 24 and 24 ruler. This ruler is capable of making 24 half square triangles in 24 minutes. The half square triangles for this size ruler will finish out at four and a half inches before you sew them into your project. There is also another ruler coming out that will be called the 24 and 24 mini that will make 24 half square triangles in the same length of time, but they will be two and a half inches square. I would like to move on and demonstrate to you how to use this ruler. I designed the 24 and 24 ruler to be uh, fat quarter friendly and what I have in front of me are two coordinating fat quarters that have right sides together. I have ironed, spray starched and ironed these fabrics until they're stiff. Once the fabrics are ironed and placed right sides together, put them on your cutting table and line up your ruler on your half square triangles. I've actually cut off the excess of the half square triangles around my ruler. The next step is to take a marking pencil, and I have a chalk mechanical marking pencil here, and I'm marking in all of the slots, the diagonal slots, the vertical slots, and the horizontal slots throughout the whole process. And you'll notice that I'm holding my pencil vertical to the marking slots. Once I have completely marked the back quarters, it will look like this. The next step is to take the marked back quarters to the sewing machine. Once you've completed marking your back quarters, then you would take your back quarters to the sewing machine and begin sewing at the bottom corner here on the outside line. And you would sew on the diagonal line all the way to the very end of the opposite corner. Once you reach this corner, skip over to the inside diagonal line and reverse sewing back to the point where you started, which would be back here. Once you've completed sewing through your project here, the next step is to take a straight edge ruler and on your cutting mat, you would cut these units apart on the horizontal lines and the vertical lines and the diagonal lines. And the way I like to accomplish this is to first cut through the horizontal lines, then the vertical lines, then the diagonal lines. And once all the lines are cut, you will have actually individual units. The first cutting on the vertical and the horizontal lines would leave you with 12 of these units. Once you've cut through the whole project, including the diagonal lines, you would have these units. Those are the units that you will take to your ironing board and open up and you will have a half square triangle. Once you cut off the extra little points on the end, you have a perfectly completed half square triangle ready for your project. In the previous example, we started out by using two coordinating fat quarters. And uh, this next example, we're actually going to do some of the very similar work, but we're going to have four different fabrics, one on the back and three different ones on the front. The way I accomplished this, I just strip pieced the pieces here on the front. I did not sew them, I just took glue, a uh, little glue stick, and put a couple of glue dots on each end and then press the pieces down before I did my marking. But once I had all the pieces positioned, the marking was the very same as the first example that I showed, where you place the ruler on top of your fabrics and then take your marking utensil and mark in all the diagonal, the vertical, and the horizontal lines. Once you're finished with all of the marking on this, the sewing is also the same. But the neat part about this is you have one fabric, but you have three different coordinating fabrics. So you will have 12 uh, fat, square, fat square triangles that will be red and white on one side and this blue and white on the other. And the same here, you'll have 12 half square triangles, one side this fabric, the other side the red and white. 
and like so on this last fabric. So in essence, you end up with still 24 half square triangles, but you have very different ones to work into your project.